consider that it is very important for the European academia and for the Western academia in general to be willing to destabilize their certainties. And what do I mean by that? I mean that when you think that you have a historical truth that can be called development or democracy or science, you stop searching. And uh, when you stop searching, you are not open to be uh, willing to listen to other voices, to other knowledges. And I think that what uh, uh, induced industrial capitalism has shown us is that the civilizatory path that Europe has taken is having consequences, not just for them, but for the rest of the world. That uh, it is necessary to look for another path, to search for another kind of civilizatory path. Because global warming, the kind, of, the kind of destruction of nature that we are being witness with the industrial development that they have taken is uh, screaming for a search of new path. So in that way, I think that there is an epistemological challenge of being able to destabilize those truths, but also a political challenge of being willing to create new uh, dialogues, new intercultural dialogues, to search for new ways to relate mainly with nature. So my message for Europe, if we want to use that metaphor, is that the first step to search is to accept that you don't have the truth. In the moment in which you realize that what you have are not universal truth, in that moment you are open for a search that can be very fruitful, not just for Europe, but for the entire world.